Okay, before we get started, my name is Dallas, aka Inferness, and welcome to the Taggart Realm. You'll get 10 years of good luck if you make the red button gray below this screen. I haven't really stepped foot into the zone of making videos behind just this screen, like you're seeing right here, and just talking about some absolutely not really normal thing going on, but today, I'm just going to be forced to do that again, because we're dealing with someone who just completely staged their entire death just to get views. This is maybe not the first time this has happened in history, or at least recorded history, but it sure as flipping frick is the first time I'm going to have to see it. So this is about a channel that went by the name of Prone Productions. And thank you for testing out my pop filter with that one. This was just a normal channel that most likely didn't really have anyone's attention. Low-key roasted, no offense, sorry. Anyways, we're gonna be uh, basically doing this video in kind of like a nonchalant fashion, and I'm going to be editing as such. Just so you know, this has been 100% proven to be a complete hoax, so I don't feel bad at all. All of a sudden, they renamed their channel to Rip Daniel, and then they made a video on the account called Rest in Peace Daniel, 225.22. It's a 44 second long black screen with a picture I'm censoring just for legal reasons, apparently of the guy who ran this channel. This channel had a thousand subscribers, might I add. There was nothing else to it except for Kevin MacLeod style music and just this one PNG picture. The description, it reads like this. On 225.22, owner of this channel, Daniel, no last name, was found unalive, unalive after ambulances arrived at the scene. There is no further information at this time. Please keep Daniel in your prayers. Who's writing this? Is it the authorities? I'm not really quite sure. Now straight off the bat, how would I have noticed just such such a small unfortunate thing such as this? Well, probably because after only one day, it was pretty much confirmed that not only did this guy stage the whole thing, but actually ran away from his home because the police got him 50 miles away after robbing a convenience store. This was right after posting to Snapchat that is actually connected to this channel, by the way. A single post of himself and then another black screen saying, I didn't want to go to school. And that's literally it. So now, we're going to read a portion of this article that I found, which seems to match the situation quite well. And I think because of my investigation skills, I can confirm that this is 100% what's going on around here. Police apprehend 14-year-old after being caught shoplifting from a Jamestown Dollar General. The 50-year-old clerk saw the suspect in a white hoodie taking the merchandise and trying to hide it. Police reported that the boy had stolen a pack of Mars bars before being spotted loitering on the side of a neighborhood street. It was found out that the suspect was reported as missing in the county of Charleston a day before after disappearing from his home nearly 50 miles away. The boy admitted to publishing a fake obituary, which is a misdemeanor, and attempted to rob an internet router from a local Starbucks, but no reports were filed on the matter. Okay, let's just talk about this for a minute. Mars bars? Good, good on you. That's a good job. That's definitely something that I would have done. For sure. Now, when it comes to robbing an internet router from a Starbucks, not really something that I could really imagine myself doing for that one. I don't know how that would have just gone down. I don't know how you just had access to just go and rob the router from some Starbucks, apparently, and no one just decided to, like, do anything about it. But then the rest of this news report just goes and talks about random things in this case. So let's just line up the facts. The name is the same. The time is perfect, and just by looking it up, you can actually find the obituary of this guy. It's the exact same description from the YouTube video, pretty much along with some other details, that just because I don't know the rules around this stuff, I'm not going to show. And can we just take a moment to talk about this for a second again? The description, Daniel, without a last name, was found, just Daniel, unalive after ambulances arrived at the scene. So wait, ambulances arrived before he was found unalive? Okay, I, that makes sense, I guess. Not really. And there's no further information at this time. What? Okay. So, yeah, as you could tell, definitely no red flags. And the YouTube channel is now called Rip Daniel and had a sizable 1.1k subscribers. He had a bunch of tutorials and graphics videos and this video 
the last one was got over 6,000 total views. If we could just read some of the comments of which I managed to get snips of, I can't believe it. I'm so sorry to hear about this. My thoughts are with you. I've never been here before, but I'm so sad now. This is horrible. Rest in peace, brother. My family is grieving for you. Is this even real? LOL. Now I just checked this morning and I couldn't really find the channel under Prone Productions, but it might still be Rip Daniel, I have no actual idea. But the fact that just some random kid would stage something to this level means that you probably are in some way related to Indiana Jones. Because he just ended up 50 miles away in some random convenience store robbing Mars bars. I never hit that level of prestige when I was that age. This young man has high hopes for a living. And robbing Starbucks Wi-Fi? You know, it's free, right? <laughs> like... Wait... You know, like, you could just go in there, and that's not even really how routers work, I don't think. I think it's at least safe to say that when he got home, he got a good conversation with the backhand of his daddy's hand. So thanks for watching this, and it was yet an another interesting thing that I found. If you're interested in the idea of having no clue at all as to what video you're gonna see next here, then you should probably subscribe to this YouTube channel. You'll see me in the next one. Have a good one. Goodbye.